Those stories and more in a moment, but first, the story that's been at the top of everyone's timeline today. Those controversial gun bills are moving through Virginia's General Assembly. Well, at least some of them. Thanks for staying up with us. I'm Nicole Livis. And I'm David Allen. We've been paying close attention to this because both sides are heated. Let's get you updated on what happened today. A committee easily passed several bills, among them mandatory universal background checks, a one gun a month purchase cap, and red flag laws that would allow officials to take guns from people deemed a risk to themselves or to others. But the big one, the Senate Bill 16, was pulled. Yeah, and that one got national attention. It would have changed the definition of and effectively banned assault weapons. Madeline Schmidt with the legislative sparring in Richmond. Save our rights. Save our it's the moment of truth. Have a faction of Virginians, including many from Hampton Roads, persuaded the Democratic majority in the General Assembly. In Richmond Monday, the first controversial gun bills were heard. This legislation would help to curtail handgun trafficking and stockpiling by reinstating the one handgun a month law. A packed Senate Judiciary Committee room watched. There were fireworks right out the gate. We're going to jam things through that you promised we would wait until Wednesday to take up. As the two sides disagreed about committee rules and voting due to an absent Republican senator. But with a stronghold on the group, Democrats pushed on. Staff saw the assault Chairman, weapons bill. Order, order. Just a minute. Senate, Senate bills 69 and 22 and 70 and 12 were combined. Both passed on party lines and now head to the Senate floor. The bills establish universal background checks, red flag laws, and reinstate that one gun a month law. The Republican minority? They are about to fracture this commonwealth is not happy. Today is a sad day in the General Assembly across Virginia. Yet Senate Bill 16, the one most often mentioned in the Second Amendment sanctuary discussions, was actually killed by Democrats. There is a similar bill on the House side, though, that's still waiting for a committee referral. In November, Virginians spoke loud and clear, and they wanted a majority of legislators who are going to address the scourge of gun violence. All right, the public turnout at the Capitol today was big, but it's supposed to be even bigger next week, right? Yeah, absolutely. So on Monday of next week, MLK Day, there's a planned effort, a lobbying effort. So there will be a lot of gun rights activists showing up at the Capitol. Okay. But it's important to note that last week, lawmakers voted on a rule change that the public can no longer bring guns inside the right. Capitol. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty big. Wow. All right, we will see. All right, the oldest legislature in the Americas will continue this debate. We'll be there to tell you all about it every night at 11 and on the 13 News Now app.